Hmm. Loud. Rude. Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to KJ and Shim Sham. Well, everybody, it finally happened. We finally finished moving. Oh, oh my goodness. And uh, it is, it's such a relief because the, the entire process of uprooting your life and taking it somewhere else can just be so very stressful. And it's also true that moving is one of the top stressors in life. It's, um, it's a lot of work, and I would know a thing or two about that because I personally have now moved upwards of 23 to 24 times since I was 19 years old. So, I know a thing or two about a thing or two when it comes to moving. And that stress is what I really want to focus on today. How do we, how do I find ways to unwind and de-stress during difficult times. Moving with a loved one or a partner can also be incredibly stressful because you're now navigating your needs and your feelings and the needs and feelings of somebody else while also trying to maintain your energy and your strength because we were moving furniture up a flight of stairs, down a flight of stairs on our way out of the house. It was yeah, it was it was time spent. It was it was just energy spent, and tensions can run high. Emotions start to run high, and I have to say that I thought it went very well overall. There were you know very few hiccups over the course of the three days that we spent moving. But that doesn't mean that there weren't stressful moments or stressful times or moments where I realized I'm not taking extra moments to stop and drink water or to make sure that I'm properly feeding myself because I get into the flow of a task and I just really want to get the task done and it makes it more difficult for me to pause and take a moment to take care of me. And that was really eye-opening in a number of ways because I know that I am the type of person that is it really gets into task manager mode and struggles to stop, right? I need to keep going until I get the thing that I'm working on done. and. Recently, what I'm realizing is that just is no longer sustainable. I don't know if it was ever sustainable, but it's particularly not sustainable now. And not only was I getting frustrated and annoyed with myself for not being able to just continue to go, but then I was looking around at the progress that I'd made and thinking, wow, I should be so much farther along. I was so upset on Thursday night when I looked around at all the boxes and all the bags and all of the things that weren't unpacked and thinking, this should be done. Why am I not done? Why am I not done with this right now? I could have gotten all these other things done had I just spent the time on them. I was not being entirely fair to myself. We have some furniture that needed to get put together and one piece in particular was just not working. We weren't able to get it put together. We might need to make some modifications to it because it's a custom piece of furniture that we inherited from one of my family members and it we were having trouble getting it to go back together again. It's made of recovered wood and it probably warped a little bit and you know we were just struggling to get it to work and that took a lot of time and then at the end there was no final product except oh we can't do this today so i felt very frustrated very annoyed very upset very stressed and i let that get to me I, it kind of exhausted me for the rest of the evening how upset and frustrated and stressed i was about that that situation and then to top it all off, I wasn't offering myself the love and the forgiveness and the compassion for having that moment and offering offering those emotions to myself, those feelings to myself, while I was also moving past it. So I'm working on that. I'm working on finding ways to not only deal in the moment with stressful situations and um, and, and situations where I feel like I'm not delivering my best while also offering myself the love and compassion and understanding that sometimes you're you're just not it's it's not going to be your best you know sometimes sometimes you're 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 going to be struggling and it's going to be difficult and to offer some patience 
with myself in particular when I fall into that and allowing myself, okay, that happened, we felt that. And now, how do we get to deal with that now? You know, how, how do we get to remedy that? Or how do we get to live in that? Like, those are the things that I'm really focusing on right now. How do I live within the circumstances that I'm already within and also deal with what has already happened? That's something that I know I'm still working on. And I would love to pose to everybody else. Is this the type of thing that crosses your mind or that impacts your day to day? Because I know for myself personally, I am, this is something that I'm really dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, perfectionism and feeling like I'm not delivering the goods, right? And and it, it, it trickles over into so many other things, right? Like weight, uh, my, my ability as a teacher, my ability as a performer, like everything, everything kind of comes together. My ability as a partner, I, I am constantly like fighting the the feelings of inadequacy and that is just something that we're uh that that that, that i know that i will be uh that, that will be at the forefront of my focus for a while and i'd like to put that out there into the world how are we all doing with that this is a great time to check in how are we dealing with that checking in with ourselves it's the full moon or it was over the course of this past evening this past nighttime and it's a great time for letting go of things that don't serve you and setting good intentions for the cycle ahead. So let's take some time right now and set some good intentions and maybe let go of a few things that are just not positively serving us. And with that in mind, I'm gonna go and get a few more things done for the rest of the day. Mama Shim Sham, can't wait to see you this Thursday. And I love you all and we'll see you soon. Bye.